Hello, my name is Brian Nettles, and I've got another translation today of the Burroughs Stones. And this one is about a man whose leg was bit off by a pig. So let's go. Okay, so we're back to burrowscave.io. I'm going to click on the articles tab and let's find the article leg bit off by a pig. The good thing about this artifact is that the letters are mostly very clear with the exception of this one right here. Now, back in the day when Bev Mosley was alive and was working the artwork of the stones, he did do an artistic rendition of it. And uh, he filled in the rest of this, so I don't know if this is Bev Moserly's um, imagination or if it's clearer when you actually have the artifact. Okay, so we've got a man who's lost his leg. You've got a pig standing its ground. Maybe it's a boar. It's got tusks. And he's holding onto a tree. And so I suspect that when you translate this bottom section, you're probably going to find something about a leg being bit off. Maybe you'll find the word pig. Maybe you'll find the word tree. So that's where I'm starting from. So as I do the transliteration, this has been commonly coming in as a gimel and a lamed, zata. Now this one right here could potentially be a yod, could potentially be a zayin. In fact, usually the zayins are reversed order. I'm using it as a Zayin only because it works when I use Google Translate on it. This would be a, a either a Wa or a Lamed. This is a Ta. And then I, when I first started working these, I didn't know what this was. And I was finding as I was going through the different artifacts that I was having no Ds and too many. Uh, there were some other letters that I had too many of. Them. So I started trying this as a Dalet, and it seemed to work out really well. In fact, it's worked out really well on several artifacts. So I continue with the T, N, D, Ayin, Tzade, Nun, Wa, okay? And so, so let's talk about the translations of the things that I just transliterated. Okay, so the Hebrew word for leg is Resh Gimel Ahmed. But we have Gimel Ahmed. So we're missing the resh, but we got the last two letters of the word leg. So I'm going to say that's a decent fit. For this top stuff, I'm going to go ahead and use Google Translate. So let's go ahead and pull up the Hebrew keyboard and Google Translate. So we have Tau Zayin Lamed. Tau, Zayin, Lamed, Tau, Dalet, Tau, Dalet. So let's go ahead and put that in Google Translate and see what we get. You'll be fine. So this top line is very simple. Leg, you'll be fine. Let's go to the bottom. Tau, Noon, Dalet. Tau, Noon, Dalet. Put it in Google Translate. Swing, swing, swing. Is he swinging in the tree? I, I suppose you could potentially say that he is swinging in the tree. But what's this? Ayin, Tzade. Ayin Tzade. Back to Google Translate. Uh oh. Let's try it this way. Because I know it works. I know if I put it in the dictionary, it's going to be there. There you go. Oats. Now let me try that again. Ayin Tzade. Wood. 
Now I know I've worked this in the past and if I type in, in English, if I type in tree, it gives me ayin zare. So sometimes when you work it from the Hebrew to the English, you get one answer. Sometimes when you work it from the English to the Hebrew, you get another answer. But anyways, we've got ayin zare, which means tree. So swing tree, he's swinging in the tree. And then right here, we've got noon wa, Noon, wa. Let's see what we get. Put it in his Hebrew. Well, well. Swinging in the tree is well. Leg, you'll be fine. That's the translation. What do you know? Isn't that fascinating? This, my friends, is Hebrew. At least. Pretty darn close to it. Have a great day.